Happy holidays! It's Turf Miss, baby! Today's second video of the day is gonna, first one you guys haven't seen already, go check it out right now, go check it out right now! It is Train Cyber Dragon Infinite Track. Brought that deck, uh, that, that deck's amazing. It actually works so well together. OTK is your opponent really well. Today's video is, is if you can uh, read, is Gravekeeper Pendulums. Now, I got this cool combo with Gravekeeper Pendulums where it searches out Royal Tribute every single turn. Utilizing Royal Tribute, Necro Valley, Gravekeeper's Commandment, Gravekeeper Recruiter, and Gravekeeper Chief. Ending on a board of Royal Tribute, Necro Valley, uh, so your opponent will have no monsters in hand. Uh, Necro Valley, so the card when they go to Graveyard, they can't activate, blah, blah, etc, etc. Double Fog Blade and a Dragster. So, on top of the Royal Tribute resolving, ends on a Double Fog Blade and a Dragster. And it really does not utilize that many bricks in the deck. Uh, if you wanted to use it with as little bricks as possible, you can take out uh, the Gravekeeper Chief, but Gravekeeper Chief allows you to end on a Dragster on top of the whole combo. It, it, it's awesome. Like the, I'm not even playing these Gravekeepers just for a joke. It started as a joke for a, a request on PayPal to build Gravekeepers. Then it start, ended up on being an actual good deck. Uh, literally just auto-winning. Essentially an FTK. Most hands ending on Royal Tribute. Getting rid of most cards you're putting control. All monsters you're putting controls in your hand. Discard all monsters you're putting control in your hand. Double Fog Blade Dragster Necro Valley, which is a straight up FDK. Uh, so we're going to go straight into the video. It, it's a good one, so stay tuned till the end. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe. We're almost at 16,000. Don't forget to check out all my live streams. We stream every single day. Breaking decks of your choice for a $20 pledge. Without further ado, let's go straight into the Gravekeeper deck profile. Now, the combo is very simple. Uh, utilizes these five gravekeepers you see here uh recruiter chief commandment necrobali and royal tribute the combo i'll explain the combo for again the deck profile the combo utilizes the pendulums to play normal pendulums hopefully your opponent hand traps electrum you want them to hand trap the electrum more so than the combo you pen summon two level sixes two level fours uh which is so so simple to do and two sixes going to beatrice beatrice ends up sending royal tribute and the two fours will harmonize, is one harmonizing. So, so pen summon two level sixes and one harmonizing. Or pen summon two magician, like one harmo, one wisdom, and one level six. Harmo bring out a, a hope. It's incredibly easy to do. Distrudo also targeting mics can make it level one. Also, you can like, play with levels of Distrudo. Anyways, send royal tribute and with Beatrice and with Lightning Paladin, add it back to your hand. After that, with Reprodocus, you make Summer Sorceress. Targeting the Lemon Paladin, since Lemon Paladin is a spellcaster, and all the uh, all the uh, uh, Gravekeepers are spellcasters. So you bring out Gravekeepers Recruiter, and then with Gravekeepers Recruiter, with Summon Sork, and with Lemon Paladin, you go into Rusty, giving you two Fog Blades, and then Recruiter's effect will trigger, giving you Chief. And since you have so many Turbo cards in the deck, you end up tripping something to the Chief over the Rusty. And if you needed to use, you have so many other slots. You, you Electrum can also easily send Symphonic Warrior Mikes. So you get an extra normal summon that turn. And then Chief would bring back the Recruiter. So Gatekeeper Chief would bring back the Gatekeeper Recruiter. And then you, uh, what's that? So yeah, then after that, you're left with a Rusty. Oh, sorry, no, no. You go into a Random Link 2. That's what you do. So you go into a Link 2. And then you link away with a Recruiter. And you end up with, uh, so yeah, before you go into Rusty, you link away ran anything. So you go into an insulator, which we forgot to put in here, or underclock. So under you link away underclock. Lots of talking involved here, but you link away underclock, and then underclock and the uh, uh, recruiter that you bring out goes into the Rusty, leaving a chief on the field. And because you have ten ways to go into Destrudo, the uh, Destrudo comes out to the chief, making a dragster. Uh, in situations where you don't have access to any of those, or none of them fulfill the requirement, what I just said. You also go into LP and Metaltron, uh, LP bring out Destrudo, and that uh, that right there would bring out your combo. So uh, very easily you end on Dragster, Double Fog Blade, Necro Valley, and Royal Tribute. In the hands that you don't have all that, sometimes you can't do the Dragster, and you have to make your Electrum without normal summoning, and without and needing a level 6 or uh, needing to send a monster level with Electrum. Typically, you have the, like, if you open Wisdom Eyes, you pr pretty much have all the level you need. Uh, but otherwise, let you want sense in front of where your mics. Anyways, uh, the rest is just pendulums. You want to play as many turbo cards as possible. All 21 commandments right over here. Terraforming has double use. Bring on Necro Valley as well. But you prefer to get it through the combo. It's a lot better. 
Prime Star also searches uh, Chief and Recruiter, but it would only be useful if you can search Commandment, so we needed Simon Stark to bring out Recruiter. Uh, triple Allure, Triple Pencall, Triple Alliance. One cool thing about this is that there are 14 cards, uh, Triple Ravine Double, uh, Terraforming, 3 Allure, that's 8, 3 Pencall, 11, 3 Duelist Lines, that's 14. 14 cards that can get rid of the brick cards in your hand. So if you have to draw cards you don't want, you have 14 cards in your deck to get rid of them. So that's totally fine. Uh, triple Lord, Triple Homo, Triple Oath. You need to make Beatrice for this combo. So you want a Triple Oath. And it's a pseudo turbo. A pseudo, it's not turbo card. I uh, use turbo card too often. It's a pseudo Wisdomite. Ooh, nice bicep pen. God. Uh, Oath Dragon is a pseudo Wisdomite in the sense that if Electrum sends Harmonizing, uh, you go. Yeah, you draw hard draw Oath Dragon uh, with Harmo, Black Fang, Dragon Pit, Time Gazer, Chronograph. You want to turn into Time Gazer and the scale. You could add back that Harmonizing. Uh, you play one Dragon Pit. I wasn't going to play zero. This deck is not revolved around Absolute whatsoever. In fact, if you don't even play Absolute, you don't need to go into it whatsoever. Uh, a cool combo is if you have access to Wisdom Eye or Pit, you bring uh, Dragon Pit to the scale, uh, discarding a Dark Spellcaster to destroy Black Fang. And that would special out the Dark Spellcaster, giving you a turbo card. A uh, cool little interaction you could do. Or if you hard draw Dark Worm, which is why we put Dark Worm up here in the turbo card area, is if you hard, if you drew Dark Worm with one here, 11, discard outlets in uh, Ravine or Pen Call, or if you hard drew it with Dragon Pit or Wisdom Eye, so you have 15 discard outlets, you simply use Pit to discard itself or discard Black Fang, whatever it may be, to, special, to discard uh, Dark Worm and special out Dark Worm. So Dragon Pit has lots of different ways to uh, have to utilize. You should utilize Dragon Pit in a lot of different ways to special out. Uh, either it be Dark Spellcaster from Black Fang, or to special out Dark Worm. The one Gazer obviously double Jackal. You need you prefer more sixes as opposed to fours if you want to play a Bashilis or a Garuda. One Gate Zero, one Mike. So Mike's is really really good, especially in uh, decks where you want to utilize a cool combo like this. Obviously you're not going to be playing this over like Orcus Pendulum. Obviously Orcus Pendulum is the best. This is more so just a little funny gimmick where you get a uh, search world tribute. And honestly, it's an FTK. It's super, super cool. Upstart Goblin. I know a 60 card Upstart Goblin, but it's literally just there for one reason that is Abductor. Uh, you want as many spells as possible. Even the difference of one spell versus two spell is uh, uh, could change an entire game for Abductor. And a lot of times when you, uh, you. There's a lot of spells in this deck. A lot of the times I would send Elect. Uh, I would se if I already have everything I need for a combo. Or let's say, for example, I, I need to search Harmonizing, and I have an extra Upstart in your hand, but I don't need to use the Upstart to go into Electrum. I would send an Abductor, even though I need a Harmonizing. I would activate the Abductor, and if I have enough spells in my hand to trigger an Abductor, I would then do that. I would send an Abductor, and then still add the Harmo I need from my Abductor's effect, but plusing one while you're at it. Uh, Destrudo, as needed in this combo, uh, we're going to be siding the memory. I didn't make a side deck in here. Uh, and it just could use what I, you can make it to make whatever, whatever level you want. Uh, one boots, double fog blade. I chose this over as a thought. It's just better. Uh, one Electro, one Beatrice, one Enlightenment Paladin. You need those for the combo. Rubber Argus, I'm sorry, you need for the combo. Rusty, double fog blade. LP in the case that you don't, uh, in the case that you don't have, a uh, few of these requirements, you can go into Dark Worm, uh, Dark Worm going to LP, Metal Tron underneath it. Basically, after you search Royal Tribute, so, uh, after you go Electro, Beatrice, Enlightenment Paladin, you go Metaltron, and then the last fifth monster would be a Dark Worm. And Metaltron, Dark Worm, bring out LP. Uh, LP will bring out Destrudo. And Destrudo will give you the final dragster needed at the very end of the combo with Chief. Super, super cool. Uh, so Yuja, it's just cool. A lot of times you can see Yuja as well. On top of that, adding more cards, uh, which end up getting this card anyways. But just so you just helps because it's also a guard dragon. Not guard, uh, like four guard dragon. LP. Uh, and sometimes that extra special summon helps out as well. Uh, Phoenix, Unicorn, uh, Boral Sword, one Evil Storm Nightmare, one Savage, one Dragster. Honestly, I don't find I go into Sayuja much. We're going to take out Sayuja for Underclock, which helps out with Rusty and plays with, uh, Dragster. Uh, in, after side decking, what I would be side, I didn't want to build a side. Oh my god, go in. Okay, uh, I didn't want to build a side deck because it's just a generic side deck at that point. You'll play a bunch of cards that are good going both, both good going first and going second. And you would side a Mare Mare and a Boral Load and a, a Brio because those cards are auto win versus Thunder Dragon. You could legitimately take this event, this deck to an event, and, and you can take this deck to a regional a YCS. It could legitimately top. I'm not joking when I say that. Again, I'm going to repeat, this is not the best version of Pendulums. No shit. It is a fun version. 
utilizing a cool combo if you love Gravekeepers. Utilizing it, uh, and it's super, super cool. You, I'd say 9 out of 10 hands, you're getting Royal Tribute to your hand and resolving it with Necro Valley. Uh, all those hands also having a uh, Fog Blade. 6 or 7 out of hands, you'll have a Dragster backing that up. And 1 out of 10 hands, you're not going to be able to... Uh, uh, re utilize Royal Tribute, but you're still going to end up with the gates, so that's totally fine. Uh, one thing to note is the extra deck is a little tight, which is why the, if, if you were to build this at a regional or whatever it may be, I would side about three or four extra deck cards and the Mirror Mirror, and then the other ten being a combination of Kaiju's, Twin Twisters, and Dino Wrestlers, and Red Red Reboot for sure to build a side a seven in about every single matchup. And because Grape Keepers are, are it's kind of a gimmick where you're playing. It's still super cool, but going second, I would side out uh, the five Gravekeepers and the three. I would always always keep Boots and Fogblade in the deck because going second, you clear your opponent's board, and after you clear your opponent's board, if you can't with the K, you put up two Fogblades, which is most of the time well enough. So that's the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, thank you again. To, uh, his name was Professor Oak, who donated uh, his name on uh, my stream at least, uh, who donated $20 for this deck. Uh, Gravekeeper, variant of Pendulums, absolutely amazing how it works together. Uh, if, yo, I'm getting big, bro. I'm getting big. Uh, if you guys want more big deck profiles, do let me know in the description or check out my streams. I'll make whatever profile requested. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.